What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard here on the channel. If you guys enjoyed today's content, don't forget to give a big thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome WWE Supercard videos, as always. So, about two and a half days, haven't uploaded. Took a little break with stuff, and we are back now with the Flash RD. And we also got LMS Rewards and a Spring Fusion Acclaim all in this video for you guys. So... Big video today, guys. So, guys, smash the thumbs up button. Let's get 100 plus in this video. Uh, big thank you to all of you who joined the collab with JB in the last video. If you guys missed that, go ahead and check out that video if you haven't already. So, we're going to first start off with the Spring Fusion 2019. Uh, what can we get out of this? Uh, probably a Gothic. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll get a gothic out of this. So let's go ahead and find out right now And it's a gothic drew McIntyre again Oh People get so lucky with those shatters man. I tell you I tell you man But now at least I could pro him. So I guess that's a plus I guess you know So let's go uh, I don't need a perfect pro just get a pro it and there we go. I think the only difference is the clouds move. That's about it with the nothing special. New card, so yay. So now let's actually go and claim our Roman Reigns card that's been sitting there for probably 15 hours, give or take. So uh, it was. A long LMS, I'd say. Pretty long. I must say. Uh, the hour difference made it long. Because, <laughs> you know, as you guys know, America, on uh, Sunday at 2 a.m., we went to 3 a.m. So, it made, it, it, this ended at 10 instead of 9. And then, of course, Ring Domination started at, I think, 4 or 3 eastern and that and people were not playing it like where i was in the rink people were playing lms and i'm like fuck can people play the other mode and then when i saw those points going up i'm like all right i can't really play ring dom until if this is over i played until about the last hour it was about maybe an hour left and i noticed i had like a 600k lead i'm like that should do it i dropped from rank 12 to 15 and that was it so I was good with that. So we got rank 15, 5.4 million. It was more than I wanted to do, to be fair. I was at 4.5 million on the last day. And I had a hell of a lead. It was like 1 million point lead from rank 21. And then, of course, the last day, people go hard. So I think it was like 4.7 million as a rank 20. So we had a hell of a gap. But anywho, let's claim the Roman Reigns rank 15 card. I've never been able to get the silver purple. Uh, maybe one day, man. But it's just so pricey. You just, I just don't want to spend that much money on one card. I really don't. So we'll go. I don't even know why I'm just going to recent. So we'll go ahead and lock in that Roman Reigns. I can get I can get rid of this rock to make Roman an amazing badass. And I can also get rid of that Drew McIntyre, that's for sure. So I'm going to keep that. Oh, we don't have anything to get rid of there. So uh, we'll get rid of all these, including Drew, because we don't need them anymore. It's just card space. And then uh, there we go. Roman should be maxed. And there he is. Uh, stats seem low right now because he doesn't I don't have any momentum slots so you probably won't see it and he still needs to add tokens and games played on it so once you add this then add this and then add that I was considering doing six charisma and three speed to screw up the other Romans down people like but eh, I I'd rather not <laughs> at this point uh, make him near far-fetched compared to like rock and stuff so yeah I was really considering because his toughness and charisma isn't far apart so I'm considering it and he beats but then there's also Johnny Gargano but yeah I don't know anywho we're just gonna go with the basic here uh, we don't have to add any, any proc because any proc on LMS card 
is a waste because you don't get much in return back. So, and it's already like 20, I think it's like nearly 30K when it's all said and done. So it's like, what's the point of adding more proc? So we'll just add six, six and three. This card will team up with Batista pretty well. So uh, right now, of course, it's one of the top cards I do have, I must say, but it's not, it's not better than Gargano just yet because obviously Gargano has his gameplay, but it will have this stats pretty much 765 766 because it is basically the same card as this so it'll be around 766 765 754 then 743 as the speed ish and uh all set and done because we're gonna add like a little more k so overall uh yeah so now i guess we buy, we should go buy that portrait pack why not? Because it is a great image. I like this more than the other one with the fist. I think this image looks better. So we'll buy one of these. And we always get like a monster card always in this pack. And I actually do think it looks great on this card. Pretty sweet image. I never bought the Roman one, the other one, if anyone's asking. So yeah. Uh, there you go. It does look great on this card. So overall, pretty sweet looking card. Now let's get into ring domination, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, we're going to probably finish this card. Let me just check. Okay, our card limit is good. Oh, wow. I was so curious. We should be able to finish this card. I think I have 61 picks once I finish this game. And uh, yeah, so let's get this Batista card. In the bag, I was I should have added Roman to my deck, but I totally forgot. So Daniel Bryan will be leaving my deck now. This should have my I think I have Daniel Bryan as my weakest card in here, so that should be fun having heroic pros. No one will bother attacking me, so that's good. Yada yada yada. No one attacks me in ring down unless the bots retarded. But yeah, 61 picks as predicted. Got that one good. I'm hoping we can at least get not pick everything really quick because I want to go under 49. So I get my picks in the next one. But we should guarantee do that because there's like eight shards left. So we should be Gucci. Uh, TBG is currently times two. I recommend you all play Team Battleground. 4,500 if you're in Shattered here for a win. That's beautiful, man. That will help you get to the 200k goal that y'all pretty much want. Because once you hit 200k, you can't even get more battle points. Which is very disappointing. I think 200k is too low. I would say 300k would have been a good uh, stoppage. Because that's how long it could take you in a season to get. So, uh, disappointing that it's 200k. Should have been 300k. Or Supercard, raise that up a little bit if you can. Listen to the fans. Or why have a limit at all? People earn stuff, you know. People don't want to waste anything. That's just facts. So, we'll have about... 30 picks remaining going into the next card, which is pretty sweet. I've gotten a lot of pick doublers in this event. Have you guys noticed that you guys have been getting a lot of pick doublers? I've gotten a shitload. Bucky Lynch, congratulations on you winning at Fastlane, even though it was a crap match to begin with. And there we go. Uh, Batista has been acquired. Now we're going to go into the heroic side. So the heroic side, um, I don't remember who the neon card was. I don't remember the neon card however i do know the shattered is the miz which who cares and then of course i gotta get the heroic uh, i wish i remember who the neon card was if you guys can just give me one moment uh i could find out for you right now just give me one moment guys this one should be it all right so here we are the ho oh it's neon sting and then, of course, Bam Bam Bigelow is the Gothic. SummerSlam 18 is Goldberg. Goliath is Sheamus. And at the very bottom, it's going to be the Fusion from Spring 2018, which is Macho Man Randy Seven for Monster, Titan Edge, and WrestleMania 34, The Undertaker. So, overall, people might go for that. Why not? And I think that's it for today's video. I don't think I have anything. Oh, we got Team Road to Glory preview is up. Uh, my team most likely will not be going for this. I don't even want to go for it. It's a useless card in my opinion. It's only a single for me too, but 
Some people would like to actually go for Andrade. And it's weird that they used his, I think this is his neon picture. But it's the spring fusion of Andrade. So I find that kind of funny. Let me just double check real quick. It looks like his regular card. See, look. Totally different image here. And that's definitely his neon image. So I find that a little weird, but hey, whatever. Team Battleground currently in prep phase. Obviously, because of times two TVG. I'm not sure if they actually have that here showing. Yep, 4,500. Look at this. Double. Guys, take advantage of this. Even 3,000 for gold. If you get silver, that's what you need to get to get basically what you had. So, pretty sweet. We got a uh, gothic team. Uh, shouldn't have any problems. I'm, I think it should be almost done. Halfway. Anyways. So, that will do it for today's video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, welcome me back two days later. Hey, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for the channel for more awesome WWE Supercard content coming your way uh, tomorrow and in the near future. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. Uh, if you guys want my my opinion on fast lane stuff, I'll just go ahead and say a quick little thing. Uh, I thought it was okay. Some predict some predictability, some matches kind of killed the vibe for the night. Uh, I would give it like a six point five out of ten for fast lane. Uh, you know, Mustafa Ali, Kevin Owens, and Daniel Bryan match of the night in my opinion. Uh, I wasn't a fan of the Shield main eventing. I guess he just wanted to have a moment. But for me, it was more of like another Roman Reigns effect. Like another effect. Like, oh, we have to put Roman in the main event. We have to put the Shield in the main event because it's the last time we'll see him together. And in my opinion, it may not even be the last time. Like, we have all heard Rock versus Cena once in a lifetime. That was never once in a lifetime, was it? And I think they're just really dragging us on. Like, unless Dean Ambrose is leaving. But I guarantee you in the future, you'll see the Shield again. You will. So, don't know why they had to make this a big deal. Like, okay, whatever. Now, now we can move on, I guess. Whatever. But, yeah, 6.5 out of 10 uh, for Fastlane. Well, see you on the next episode, guys. Peace.